that the king or the queen, or both in this case, cannot raise an army without the approval of parliament. They cannot raise taxes without the approval of parliament. They cannot interfere with the law without the approval of parliament. So this really is the beginning of the modern British state. And this moment of the creation of the modern world, as I alluded to earlier, is this is one of the most important events in world history. In 1695, William of Orange gives the Royal Charter to a gentleman called Sir William Packerton to found the Bank of England. The Bank of England now create these new financial instruments called national debt. Or as William Patterson puts it, the bank has the benefit of all interest paid on monies created from nothing. Or fractional reserve banking, as you might call it now. Now, of course, one of Sir William is a Mary and now he's a James, of course, isn't just sitting back in France and thinking, oh, well, that's it, I didn't really want the crown anyway. In 1690, he raises an army, thanks to a huge chest of French money, which he takes over to Ireland. William of Orange then takes a seven-nation Protestant army over to Ireland. King James II is finally defeated on the 12th of July, 1690, at the Battle of the Boyne. 